Hello, I'm Michael Terry. I'm a respiratory therapist. My name is Hugo Pena, respiratory care practitioner. Our primary job here is airway management. If you're not breathing, you're not living. So we're frontline kind of guys. And respiratory disease is, is very important in critical care because one of the systems that rapidly fails and leads to death is the respiratory system. We're involved in life support. We're involved in, in uh, uh, keeping people alive uh, and, and resuscitating people. Every time your mouth is on the mouthpiece and we're doing a breathing maneuver, We also take care of asthmatics and, and patients who have breathing problems that have the therapies that we can assist them with. Respiratory care practitioners work in different settings. Home care, um, manufacturing, they work in, in uh, business sales, in, in um, clinical management. One of my favorite things about the profession is that there's a, a huge variety of experience. I might work with older people, uh, older adults. I might work with uh, neonates who were just born. You're not just some guy jotting down numbers and looking at waveforms. You're actually somebody who's involved in patient care. For you to go into an ICU uh, setting and to be consulted from a physician and to be asked, hey Hugo, what's your take on this? It really makes you feel a part of the team. The field has a, a tremendous amount of versatility in that you know, we do diagnostics, we do therapeutics as well. So there's a lot of little specialty niches in respiratory care. Some of the negative aspects of this profession, um, it could be limiting at times. It could be frustrating um, when you know a patient's going a certain way. We work weekends, we work nights, uh, we work holidays, and uh, when you first are establishing your career, you are usually hired directly onto the night shift, and, and many people don't like working the night shift. I think the most important aptitude for respiratory therapists is um, empathy. Uh, we can teach just about anything you need to know to a relatively bright person, but you can't teach empathy. Definitely being a hands-on type of person, somebody who likes to see and play with their hands. And I think just having general patient skills also, having the, the ability to see where you're, you're headed as far as uh, the disease process goes. When you graduate from a respiratory care and you get your license, you can expect to earn between $35,000 and $60,000 a year uh, just working full time. During the heavy season, overtime is really um, heavy, so we can work seven days a week if we wanted to, 18-hour shifts. Many of our staff uh, supplement their income by as much as another $30,000 annually by working extra shifts. I work just enough for me to be able to do my travels and things like that. And in this profession, doing three days a week, 12-hour shifts full-time, you're essentially off four days a week. Uh, I think that respiratory therapy is a career that would be very rewarding uh, for anyone who cares about people. You're, you're one of the first ones there. You're one of the ones that you're called on in the NICU when a delivery comes out. If you're into the action like I am, then you're going to want to be somewhere where the action is. Respiratory care is the breath of life. If you're not breathing, you're not living. Plain and simple.